Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blongo.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to verify your domain for Zoho Mail as well as how to add the required MX records to your domain. All right, let's get started. This is Zoho One, so the first thing we have to do is add the Zoho Mail app. But if you're not using Zoho One, you're going to skip this step. So let's add the Zoho Mail app really quickly. On the left bar, click on More Apps, then go to Unassign Apps and Zoho Mail should be there. Now let's click on add. In this new window, type the domain that you're going to be using and then click on add. The domain has been added, so now we can set up Zoho Mail. This is the wizard that will help us to verify the domain as well as to add the MX records required. There are two ways to do it. You can log in into your domain settings or you can do it manually. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it manually. So let's click here where it says configure manually. The first record we're going to add to our DNS is going to allow us to verify the domain. There are a few ways to do it, but in this case, we're going to use the recommended one. So let's copy the value with this button. And now let's switch to our domain settings. I use GoDaddy, but if you use something different, what you should try to do is find the DNS settings of your domain. In my case, I'm using this domain. So I'm going to click here where it says manage DNS. Now we need to add the record. So let's click on add. The record type is txt. The name is at, but some domains allow you to leave this blank. The value is what we just copied, so let's paste it. And we're going to leave the TTL as default. Now let's click on add a record. And the record has been added. We can go back to Zoho Mail and click on validate record. And the domain has been verified. The next step is to create a super admin email address. You can choose any name, but in my case, I'm going to type Andy. Now click on create. And we can see in this window that the email address has been added. If you need to add more emails or even import users, you can do it from this window using these buttons. All right, let's click on proceed to set up groups. For this example, we're not going to set up any groups, but you can do it on this window. Now let's move to DNS mapping. This is where we're going to configure our MX records. Again, we have two options to do it, but we're going to choose configure manually. And these are all the records we need to add to our DNS. We're going to start with the MX records, but we also have to add an SPF record and a DKIM record. So let's copy the first MX record and also keep in mind the priority, which is 10. Back to our DNS where we're going to click on add. And now the record type is going to be MX. The name is add, the priority is 10, and the value is what we just copied. Okay, let's add the record. If we scroll down, we can see that the record is there. And now let's go back to our Zoho Mail setup page. And what we need to do is add the next two records. As before, copy the value and remember the priority. I'm going to add these two records quickly. All right, we have added all the MX records we need, but we still have to add the SPF record and the DKM record. So let's copy this value. And on the DNS, let's add a new TXT record. The name is add and let's paste the value here. Okay, the record has been added. Now let's go back to the setup page. For the DKM record, we have to copy two different sections. First, we're gonna copy the name or host and on the DNS, let's add a new TXT record. The name is going to be what we just copied. And back on the setup, we can copy the value and paste it right here. Now let's add it. And we have all the records we needed. So let's go back to the setup and click on verify all records. If you don't get any errors, it means that the records have been verified but you can go back to the DNS mapping step to double check. If you're migrating from another email provider, you can do it here by clicking on start data migration, but in this case, we're not going to do it. So let's click on proceed to go mobile. If you need to download the mobile app, click here. All right, let's click on proceed to setup completion and we're all set. To open our inbox, just click on this button. And here we are. 
This is an intro that you can review if you're new to Zoho Mail, but I'm gonna skip it. And right here we can see our first email, so let's open it. At this point, we have configured our domain, but if you want to add more users, groups, or even add another domain, you can do it from the admin console. Back in Zoho One, the last step you have to do to activate your Zoho Mail app is to select it from this list and click on next. And when you're prompt with this message, you can click on add. This is linking the Zoho Mail app that we just set up with your Zoho One account. And now we have completed the setup. This message is asking me if I want to change my time zone, but I'm gonna click on no. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please click the like button. If you're a Zoho admin and would like to learn more about how to integrate the different Zoho apps, we made a Zoho One course that covers how to configure and integrate the top 10 most useful apps. Check out the link in the description for more information. Thanks for watching.